My name is Jeff Daly. I'm a CEO of an advertising agency. I have an 11-year-old son named Kyler. My daughter is, uh, her name is Camden, and she's eight and a half. <laughs> Phil and Sherry uh, Robinette, my uh, in-laws, they have been a big part of our lives, the kids in our lives, over the last couple of years since my wife has passed. My wife, she's been gone since for about four years, and uh, about five years prior to her passing, she discovered she had breast cancer. He did as much as he could do, and we tried to pick up the pieces wherever we could. I think he did the very best he could under the circumstances. The children noticed that uh, he wasn't feeling totally up to par and uh, were concerned about it. Of course, their fear was the same thing that happened to their mother, and I'll tell you that crossed our mind, too. <laughs> it was an amazing struggle, um, and uh, I'm the kind of person that puts uh, other people in front of me, um, so I made sure that my kids were being taken care of, that. Uh, my business was being taken care of, and uh, unfortunately I didn't leave a lot of time for myself, which was not a good thing. I felt very tired. I wasn't able to do fun things with the kids, go out hiking with the dog, things we did, just normal parts of our lives. Um, it was affecting me that much. Went uh, to see the doctor one day thinking I had the flu, and he shared with me that my heart was racing. When I uh, was in the emergency room, I was called by the ER physician. He was in rapid atrial fibrillation. Uh, rapid irregular heart rhythm, which was actually the cause of his symptoms, but surprisingly Jeff did not feel any palpitations, racing heartbeat, or any other heart-related kinds of symptoms one would expect. And I talked with him about treatment options. And at that point, the options included alternative medication or a procedure called catheter ablation, which is what we uh, ended up doing. For Jeff's ablation, we utilized a very novel technology that has been created by Bias and Webster called Remote Magnetic Technology, or RMT, ablation. And the catheter has magnets in it, and there are large magnets that rotate around the patient. And a computer interface allows the physician to be seated and using a mouse control the magnetic vector to pull the catheter through the heart to have good contact with the tissue. And what it really allows for, first and foremost, is a safe procedure. The catheter is ultra soft so it cannot make a hole in the heart muscle like other types of catheters can. It also conforms to the heart muscle contraction, so it has very good contact. And it gives you one millimeter accuracy, so that even slight changes of where the rhythm needs to be ablated can be achieved uh, because of that. Uh, there is a strong impetus on a physician. This person is going to be living for the next several decades. That person has a family. You need to do everything you can to change that path of his health. Jeff, I think, is doing great. He had a great response to ablation during the procedure. After the procedure, his heart muscle function is recovered. And more importantly, he has been able to return to the kind of lifestyle and to his family with a different type of energy than he had before. So he's got a, he's got a great prognosis. After the ablation and just getting going through the recovery and, getting, and being able to do things, that I haven't been able to do in, in a very long window of time, and that's simply working out, lifting weights, things I love to do, being, doing, interacting with my, with my friends and my family, just radically changed in just, in just a couple of weeks after the surgery. It was just amazing. My kids are my life right now, and, uh, and this has given me a new lease on.